Now when all this was finished, all Israel that were present went out to the cities of Judah, and break the images in pieces, and cut down the groves, and threw down the high places, and the altars out of all Judah and Benjamin, and Ephraim also, and Manasseh, until they had utterly destroyed them all. Then all the children of Israel returned, every man to his possession, into their own cities. And Hezekiah appointed the courses of the priests and the Levites after their courses, every man according to his service, the priests and Levites for burnt offerings and for peace offerings, to minister and to give thanks and to praise in the gates of the tents of the Lord. Religion has taught Israelites and indigenous black people all sorts of wickedness. The time has come for the Most High to undo what the kingdom of darkness has done via religion. It is up to the indigenous black people to let go of the ways of this world and turn to the Most High. You're not going to find the Most High through Satan's governments and religious institutions in the beast system. The narrow road that leads to life is not grievous. The straight and narrow road is not being trampled by billions of people seeking refuge in the Most High. If the narrow road that leads to life was what the people made in the image of the Most High seek, it wouldn't be a few that find the narrow road that leads to life. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Satan has convinced many people in the beast system to follow the broad road that leads to destruction. Majority of this world's population follow popular trends in the beast culture. Vanity is at an all-time high. Many people are looking for quick ways to get on top in the beast system. Religion is what majority of this world's population turn to when they are looking for a miracle and blessings. When you seek religion for the answer, most people are not aware they are turning to the kingdom of darkness. All forms of religion is sorcery. The kingdom of darkness convinced many Israelites and indigenous black people that they would find refuge in religion. When you seek religion for answers, most people do not know the wisdom obtained from religion stems from familiar spirits. Israelites, wait on the most high. Be anxious for nothing. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Too many Israelites and indigenous black people are like King Saul, seeking familiar spirits and workers of iniquity for a blessing. They don't want to look to the Most High for deliverance. Many believe the Most High's ways are too hard and mysterious. A lot of people are looking for a quicker way. They will never find a quicker and easier way outside of the most high's standards of living. The scriptures reveal to us that King Saul died because he was rebellious. The scripture said rebellion is like witchcraft. For rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. He hath also rejected thee from being king. Not only did the scriptures said King Saul was rebellious, the scriptures went on to say the Most High stripped King Saul of his kingship because he seeked counsel from a person who had a familiar spirit instead of asking the Most High for guidance. In addition, King Saul did not listen to the word of the Most High. So Saul died for his transgression, which he committed against the Lord, even against the word of the Lord, which he kept not and also for asking counsel of one that had a familiar spirit to inquire of it, and inquired not of the Lord. Therefore he slew him, and turned the kingdom unto David, the son of Jesse. First Chronicles chapter 10 verse 13 said, When you seek a person with a familiar spirit, you are not inquiring of the Most High. If the person with a familiar spirit is not receiving the information from the Most High, where is the knowledge coming from? Religion is saturated with familiar spirits. Familiar spirits do not come from the kingdom of the Most High. Familiar spirits represent the kingdom of darkness. 
Seeking the kingdom of darkness for answers is not only dangerous, but it removes the presence of the Most High from your life. The scriptures reveal how the spirit of the Most High left Saul. As soon as the spirit of the Most High left King Saul, an evil spirit occupied him. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servant said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. The evil spirit that occupied King Saul tormented him. The evil spirit caused King Saul to become violent. He tried to kill David numerous times. King Saul knew the Most High replaced him with David. Saul was also aware that the spirit of the Most High was with David and departed from him. And it came to pass on the morrow that the evil spirit from God came upon Saul, and he prophesied in the midst of the house, and David played with his hand, as at other times. And there was a javelin in Saul's hand, and Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. And Saul was afraid of David because the Lord was with him and was departed from Saul. The workers of iniquity in the beast system deceive many people to believe that anger, jealousy, envy, rage, and many other spirits are emotions. They have taught you to believe poverty, death, setback, rejection, and many other events that take place in your life are unfortunate circumstances. The truth is jealousy, envy, anger, poverty, and many other emotions are spirits. Everything they refer to as emotions and personality traits are spirits. Death is a spirit, poverty is a spirit, and rejection is a spirit. The scripture refer to the object called money, a god. Money is known as god of gold and god of silver in the scriptures. Ye shall not make with me gods of silver, neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold. Israelites, you must view the world in the correct perspective, which is the perspective of the Most High. The time has come for you to stop viewing the world in the perception of the serpent seed. Everything are spirits, including you. Your spirit is housed in your human body. The kingdom of darkness don't want you to obtain this knowledge. If you don't know that anger is a spirit and setback is a spirit, these devils can operate freely in your life. If you don't know that emotions and personality traits are spirits, the people of the Most High are not properly equipped to fight against the kingdom of darkness. Satan deceived many people to believe the purpose of religion is to help the people connect to their Elohim. In addition, religion is giving the people the wisdom needed to stand against the kingdom of darkness. The truth is religion is designed to do the exact opposite. If the church via religion was connecting the people to the Elohim of Israel and giving them the knowledge and understanding needed to properly serve their Elohim, the people of the Most High would not be perishing from a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the Lord thy God, I will also forget thy children. Therefore my people are gone into captivity, because they have no knowledge, and their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. If the various forms of religion was of the Most High, the Israelites and indigenous black people would triumph and over their enemies. Instead, the indigenous black people are at the mercy of their enemies, failing to subdue their enemies. When an unclean spirit comes to entice a person, for example, the spirit of anger overtake a person, most people say to the person overwhelmed with anger to walk it off or relax until your anger subside. Anger is a spirit. Walking it off is a temporary fix. If the spirit of anger is not properly cast out, what happens to the person when the spirit of anger return? The individual remember the offense and become angry again. The scripture said, do not let the sun go down on your wrath. If you do, you are giving Satan an opportunity. Be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil.
we must deal properly with unclean spirits. If you don't cast out unclean spirits, it opens the door to other spirits that are more diabolical to occupy and torment you. The spirit of envy, jealousy, hate, and many other spirits travel with the spirit of anger. Religion via the church has failed the indigenous black people. Remember, religion wasn't designed to uplift you, but to keep you in bondage. The Most High gave his people instructions on how to cast out devils. The scripture says, submit to the Most High, resist the devil, and the devil would flee from you. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. When the scripture said, submit to the Most High, the Most High is saying, adhere to his words and repent. When you are in the will of the Most High for your life, you obtain protection and favor from the Most High. David had the protection of the Most High because David was a man after the Most High's heart. Because David followed the Most High, every attempt the evil spirit controlling King Saul made to end his life failed. And Saul cast the javelin, for he said, I will smite David even to the wall with it. And David avoided out of his presence twice. Israelites, it is important that you know the word of the Most High and abide in his words. Remember, we do not live by bread only, but by every word that comes out of the mouth of the Most High. The Holy Spirit will reveal the word and thoughts of the Most High to you. And he humbled thee, and suffered thee to hunger, and fed thee with manna, which thou knewest not. Neither did thy fathers know, that he might make thee know that man doth not live by bread only, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Lord doth man live. To cast out devils, the word of the Most High said, you must submit to the Most High and resist the devils. Resisting the devils means to not give in to the temptations the kingdom of darkness put in front of you. These temptations cater to your flesh desires. The scripture said, you cannot please the Most High in the flesh. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Knowing what the words say and speaking the word is important to every Israelite and indigenous black people who serve the Most High. Submitting to the Most High and resisting unclean spirits is not the only way to cast out devils. The scripture said certain unclean spirits come out of a person only through prayer and fasting. Albeit this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. Spiritual warfare is a must for unclean spirits with a strong hold over your life. Stubborn spirits like marine spirits are a few spirits that come out of a person only through prayer and fasting. If you don't fast, marine spirits will continue to torment you. Water spirits are territorial, stubborn, and diabolical. Israelites, you must follow the Most High's instructions on how to overcome every unclean spirit that tries to control your life. Do not believe the workers of iniquity who mislead you in the beast system. Do not mistake an unclean spirit for emotions and personality traits. Israelites, you must know when you're under attack to deal with the devil according to the word of the Most High. If you don't, you will find yourself like King Saul being tormented by an evil spirit when the spirit of the Most High depart from him. If the Most High is not leading you, the kingdom of darkness will via unclean spirits. It didn't take long after the spirit of the Most High depart from Saul for an unclean spirit to occupy him. There are many Israelites and indigenous black people with unclean spirits influencing them to behave in ways that are not pleasing to the Most High. Too many Israelites are listening to familiar spirits and mistaking the familiar spirits for the Holy Spirit. You should not seek the dead about the affairs of the living. And when they shall say unto you, Seek unto them that have familiar spirits, and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God, for the living to the dead? When the kingdom of darkness initiate our people into religion, the indigenous black people lost dominion over the world. Destruction continued to ravage the indigenous black people's lives, regardless of their bloodline. Until this day, religion is a stronghold for many indigenous black people. Satan market religion as a life necessity. The beast system defined witchcraft as the practice of magic, especially black magic, 
the use of spells. The truth is witchcraft and sorcery should be defined as religion. If you read the modern context of the definition of witchcraft, it said religious practice involving magic and affinity with nature, usually within a pagan tradition. The workers of iniquity reveal to you that religion is witchcraft. If this wisdom does not inspire you to come out of religion, I don't know what else will convince you. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Religion is also idolatry. Remember, witchcraft and idolatry go hand in hand. You cannot have one without the other. The indigenous black people, including the Israelites, struggle with idolatry. The sin of idolatry is the reason the Israelites are in the conditions they are in. And to this day, the Israelites are struggling with the sin of idolatry via religion. The scripture said the Israelites would serve other gods in the land of their captivity. They are serving idols their fathers have not known. For they went and served other gods and worshipped them, gods whom they knew not and whom he had not given unto them. Religion has closed the eyes of the people to the unseen world. The unseen world is the spirit realm. The unseen world is visible through your dream life as well as altars. At an altar is where humans meet and communicate with spirits. Depending on who the altar is built to would determine what God is behind the altar. Like in all things, there is good and evil. There are evil altars and altars built to the Most High. The Most High said any altar that is built to him, he would visit the altar and bring blessings. An altar of earth thou shalt make unto me, and shalt sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings, and thy peace offerings, thy sheep and thine oxen. In all places where I record my name, I will come unto thee, and I will bless thee. The Israelite culture is not oblivious to altars. Our ancestors built many altars to the Most High and made sacrifices on the altar to the Most High. The scriptures gave us a story about an altar built to the Most High and an evil altar built to Baal. The story of Elijah versus the prophets of Baal. Elijah, the prophet of the Most High, wanted the people in his generation to know that the Elohim of Israel is the one and only. The scripture revealed to us that the evil altar built by the prophets of Baal was useless. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it, and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O oh, Baal, hear us! But there was no voice, nor any that answered, and they leaped upon the altar which was made. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, Cry aloud, for he is a god. Either he is talking, or he is pursuing. Or he is in a journey, a peradventure he sleepeth, and must be awaked. Every idol the Israelites forsook the Most High for was useless to them. None of these idols, including the modern gods the Israelites are serving in religion, can save them from anything. That is why the indigenous black people are living a defeated life and can't stand against their enemies. Once Baal failed to display his glory on the altar his prophets built to him, the scriptures reveal Elijah rebuilt the altar that was built to the Most High. During that time, the Israelites forsake the Most High and serve other idols. They were worshiping worthless idols like Baal. Elijah had to rebuild the altar before the Most High could show his glory. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took twelve stones, according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord, and he made a trench about the altar, as great as would contain two measures of seed. Once the altar built to the Most High was repaired, the Most High visited the altar just as he said he would do in Exodus chapter 20 verse 24. The Most High displayed his glory for his people to see as well as the heathens to show the people his sovereignty. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day 
that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O Lord, hear me, that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, and that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the Father Lord fell, and consumed the burnt sacrifice, and the wood, and the stones, and the dust, and licked up the water that was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces, and they said, The Lord, he is the God, the Lord, he is the God. As you have heard in the scriptures, there are evil altars built to idols and altars built to the Most High. If the Most High is not the Elohim behind the altar, then it is an evil altar. Even until this day, we must build altars and give a sacrifice on the altar. Our prayers have become the altar and fasting is the sacrifice. Today, the synagogue of Satan associate altars outside of religion as satanic. The workers of iniquity in religion convince many indigenous black people that the way our ancestors worship and serve their gods is satanic. That is why so many indigenous black people shun any form of spirituality outside of religion. The reality is our people should be running away from religion because religion is satanic. Anywhere with an evil altar, you should avoid. Remember I said before, there's good and evil in everything. To everything there is a season, a time for a big purpose under the heaven. There are evil altars built to idols in African spirituality. African spirituality is not exempt from demonic forces. Satan infiltrate everything to deceive. Israelites, remember, every altar that is not built to the Most High is an evil altar. Behind every evil altar are demonic forces. The other species of mankind have many altars built to their idols. Many of us have seen their altars in their establishments, as well as in their rituals they do in plain sight that many people mistake for entertainment. The serpent seed know everything about altars in the unseen world. That is how they can rule over you. They fight you in the spirit while you fight in the flesh. The scripture said, we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but against powers, against principalities, and against the rulers of darkness in this world. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. In the past few years, I have seen an increase of ancestral worship and a lot of discussion about African spirituality. The awakening has exposed the kingdom of darkness via religion that many indigenous black people are looking to their roots for guidance. This generation is aware that religion was one of the methods used to keep our people in bondage. Many indigenous black people are looking to ancestral worship to deliver them from the bondage of religion. The indigenous black heathens in the scriptures worship many idols. The very idols they worship are the same idols the Most High warned his people, the Israelites, not to worship. Not all indigenous black people are Israelites. The indigenous Hamites are deep into idolatry. Abraham destroyed his father's gods. The book of Jasher revealed the story of Abraham destroying his father's gods. The Canaanites, as well as many other bloodlines, are mentioned in the scriptures for their numerous abominations. Thus shalt thou do unto all the cities which are very far off from thee, which are not of the cities of these nations, but of the cities of these people, which the Lord thy God doth give thee for an inheritance. Thou shalt save alive nothing that breatheth. But thou shalt utterly destroy them, namely the Hittites and the Amorites, the Canaanites and the Perizzites, the Hivites and the Jebusites, as the Lord thy God hath commanded thee, that they teach you not to do after all their abominations which they have done unto their gods. So should ye sin against the Lord your God. The indigenous black people are the descendants of the bloodlines mentioned in the scriptures worshiping idols. Are you sure you want to participate in ancestral worship? These are the gods your ancestors worship and the Most High command his people to destroy. 
The Most High warned Solomon to not take the strange women for wives because they would turn his heart away from the Most High. We all know Solomon did not listen and marry the strange women. His strange wives led him into idolatry, which caused the anger of the Most High to come upon his people. Through Solomon's sin, the Most High divided the Israelite nation into two kingdoms. For it came to pass when Solomon was old, that his wives turned away his heart after other gods. And his heart was not perfect with the Lord his God, as was the heart of David his father. For Solomon went after Ashtoreth, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Milcom, the abomination of the Ammonites. And Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord, and went not fully after the Lord, as did David his father. Then did Solomon build an high place for Chemosh, the abomination of Moab, in the hill that is before Jerusalem, and for Moloch, the abomination of the children of Ammon. And likewise did he for all his strange wives, which burnt incense and sacrificed unto their gods. To the indigenous black people looking to African spirituality, the other gods mentioned in the scriptures are the idols your ancestors worshipped. When you visit a shrine, whatever god that is behind that altar, that is the idol you are petitioning and asking to bless you. The scriptures mention many idols the indigenous heathens of the scriptures worship, Baal, Moloch, the numerous gods of Egypt, and many others. When you visit these people with a familiar spirit in African spirituality, these are the gods they are serving. These are the very gods the Most High said not to worship but to destroy Israelites. By the way, ancestral spirits is another name for familiar spirits. What did the Most High said about seeking a person with familiar spirits? The word of the Most High said to not seek those with a familiar spirits because they would defile you. Regard not them that have familiar spirits, neither seek after wizards to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. Israelites, do not follow popular trends. Many indigenous black people follow trends and they are not aware of the great sins they are committing. If you don't know what God is behind the altar the worker of iniquity serve, do not follow. The first thing the Most High instruct his people to do when they conquer their enemies and occupy their land is to destroy the foreign gods by taking down their high places and burning their groves. For he took away the altars of the strange gods and the high places and break down the images and cut down the groves and ye shall overthrow their altars and break their pillars, and burn their groves with fire. And ye shall hew down the graven images of their gods, and destroy the names of them out of that place. When the other species of mankind convinced the Israelites to get rid of the altars built to the Most High, and replace the Most High with religion, your enemies disarm you. When they gave you religion, you trade your glory for the lesser. Hath a nation changed their gods, which are yet no gods? But my people have changed their glory for that which doth not profit. The God the other species of mankind serve is not the Elohim of Israel. Therefore, the altars in the church are evil altars. I hope you're beginning to see the purpose of the church buildings built all over the world. In the most remote places in this world and in the most poverty-stricken places, you can find a fancy church built to the Messiah that came in his own name. If the church buildings were not evil altars, how come the church cannot help the community they service? How come their God cannot lift those people out of poverty? The heathens who introduced the indigenous black people to their religion are blessed and are on top, while the indigenous black people are not. The things the heathens sacrificed, they sacrificed to devils and not to the Most High. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to devils and not to God. And I would not that ye should have fellowship with devils. Religion is the serpent seed's ultimate altar. Religion is the method Satan used to renew evil covenants with the indigenous black people. 
the other species of mankind sacrifice all people on their evil altars in religion. Altars come in many forms. Gates are the strongest altars. The Roman Catholic Church have many gates. They even incorporate gates into their architectural designs. Israelites, ask the Most High to allow you to see what is in front of you. When your enemies gave you religion and ancestral worship, they took away your Elohim and replaced the Most High with idols. Israelites, do not let the clever ways Satan separate you from the Most High continue. Put on the armor of the Most High to stand against the enemy. Israelites, make sure you know what you worship. The beast system is designed to keep you in sin. The Most High is giving you wisdom and understanding to set you free. The scripture said the truth would make you free. To find the Most High, you must look within. The Most High has given you everything that you need to overcome. Israelites, allow the Most High to show you his glory. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. And let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing.